So welcome, here's my restaurant review on what it's like to eat and stay at Majestic Costa Mujeres, right outside of Cancun. So it's an all-inclusive resort, so yet several restaurants to choose from. Mars House, back in November, was doing both breakfast and lunch and then seafood restaurant at night. You would have live music, I mean, absolute talented people, violin, the saxophone. You could get eggs cooked to court cook to order tacos burritos different things like that for lunch you see i had some shredded beef and beans some good gelato very good not too sweet cake a little different if you're into the whole fluffy pastry type thing so for seafood at night i had ceviche that was good that was my first time having that that was um can't remember what type of fish that was might have been a lobster and shrimp ceviche then, of course, you got your cold rolls with butter. I don't do cold bread, so the thought on that is um, they could have kept it. I just didn't even touch it. As you can see, it just kind of sat there. But by far, my favorite meal of all that I had would be the grilled lobster tails. That was the best out of all the restaurants that I've ate at, whether it was in November or recently here in March. We probably had about two servings each. They were so good. We just kept ordering them, and we even went back a few nights. So, outside of that, the next restaurant I'll talk about is the Mexican restaurant. So, you're in Mexico, you want to have great Mexican, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get like the best tacos ever. Well, they did have shrimp tacos, and those were pretty tasty. They're fried shrimp, some little shredded pork, I guess maybe, I think they called these tacos, but they were a little appetizer, and they were pretty good. This here was the red snapper, so it was wrapped in a circle, had a little sauce on it, some fried onions, that was pretty good. And then the seafood lava bowl had your shrimp, white fish, mussels, um, even a lobster tail. For dessert, they offered churros with vanilla ice cream. That was, Those were pretty good. Flavors Restaurant was not open in November. It is now open in March. I don't have any pictures of the food we had there, but it's more buffet style, but they serve you. So the French restaurant had the best service whatsoever. Reservations are required for the French restaurant and the Japanese restaurant, which I do not review in this post. This was our server. He was excellent. And as you can see, it's on his mask and his eye shield. So they do try to protect you by wearing their mask properly over their mouth and nose. This were the butters that they gave you. There were, um, one was like a, they were mixed with fat and they were pretty interesting. This was a seafood bisque, had mussels, um, I think a little lobster juice. So their lobster tails were not as good. They were kind of chewy. Um, I don't think they were grilled, but they just were different. This was a little steak that my husband had, and it was kind of like, eh, um, just kind of hit or miss. So the steakhouse had great crab cakes and buffalo wings. We went there twice, so we went there in November and again in March. So this is the crab cakes. They were consistently good both times. When we went in November, they didn't have steak sauce, which was crazy because it's a steakhouse. But um, when we went back in March, they did have steak sauce, so maybe they were just sold out. This here is the sirloin steak, grilled corn, sauteed mushrooms that you get at the steakhouse. The steakhouse does not offer a T-bone. But if you go over to the Italian restaurant, you get large portions. So you get this grilled, you can get a chicken parmesan, which is pretty average, but huge in size. And then a T-bone steak. No real seasoning, so you would want some steak sauce. Other than that, you won't go hungry at Majestic. You have 24-hour service, especially if you're... On the Elegance Club side, which is the adult-only side, you get to order as much room service as you want. You can on either side, but on the adult side, there's no additional fee to order. So you won't go hungry. It's not the best food, but it's average. So just find something you like and just keep eating that over and over again if you don't. But just try it. I mean, it's all included. So if you don't like one place, just shoot over to the next. I hope this helps. Have a good day.